there's many of us that feel that way and just be like, I'm just not trying to watch yet another slave narrative when there's so many other stories to be told. Absolutely. And I understand it. I want to respect people's feelings, their reticence, their pain around it. And so my argument is to push us, but also to understand with empathy and with sympathy, everybody is not ready for it right now. All I'm trying to get to by saying that was I saw Kindred coming. I was initially like, yes. And then second thought was like, nah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that again. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. I went back and forth about it. And then I went ahead and said, let me go and hit it. And I'm so glad I did because what it offers is basically what if. It is science fiction. It involves that period of time, early 1800s. But in essence, what it has done is said, hey, if you send a man and a woman back in time and their normalcy is in that modern day normal. Now, as a viewer, you can watch and say, they are representing my perspective. They're dealing with how to survive in this time, figuring out what the hell is going on. Like, do I believe in science fiction or the abnormal? And I've got to mean myself to the strange thing that's happening to me while also surviving this insanity. So let's get into the two episodes. The first episode is called Dana. 